Youth make up 51% of Malawi population, currently standing at around 18 million. For long, however, in Machinga, people in the age bracket have expressed concern over minimal engagement on the availability of sexual and reproductive health materials in health facilities, limited space in local governance structures, and lack of access to justice when they are sexually abused. In group village in Toloa and in Tokoma, under traditional authority Mlomba, young people are benefiting from the Governance for Health Investment Project. Tilitonse Foundation is supporting Sexual Reproductive Health Rights Africa Trust to bring change through youth response for social change as an implementing agency. Tilitonse's major objective is to promote accountability, responsiveness, and inclusiveness as principles for sustainable governance. Lamex Kiale is the Executive Director for Youth Response for Social Change, YRSC. The idea of this project to make sure that um, uh, young people are able to access sexual reproductive health in our nearest health facilities. Um, also to make sure that uh, young people are able uh, to be uh, included in low governance structures, for example, uh, ADC, VDC, uh, HOC, so that their voice has been uh, to be heard, and specifically in this governance structure, so that they are able uh, to voice out. Nsanama Teacher Development Center has become the epitome of youth gatherings under the project. Up to 50 young men, women and adolescents gather. Here, they meet to attain the all-important life skills that form the basis of the funder's theory of change. Capacity development and strengthening sessions for the 50 young leaders, christened youth champions, take place here to empower them on how they can meaningfully be involved in governance structures, get youth-friendly health services, and access to justice for those abused, among others. In Machinga, the uptake of contraceptives presently stands at around 32.5%. Clifton Ngozo is the public relations officer for the district health office. The sexual reproductive health uh, in relation to the youth, indeed we have seen that actually in Machinga, with a population of 735,000, uh, it has a, a youth population of more than 60%. And it has shown that say, our services are not say, specific to the needs of the youth. And indeed, we are leaving them behind. And in, 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 in say, uh, return of this, there are a lot of issues that are uh, say, affecting the youth, like say, teenage pregnancies and even teen marriages. These are just very high in Machinga. And we have even seen that even partners that come to assist uh, health delivery, very few are focused to the needs of the youth. So we can indeed agree that we have access problems, health problems that are affecting the youth. Since the start of the project in February, strides have been made through the Governance for Health Investment Project, Ziwone Amon Piri says youth can now access modern family planning services easily. She says contraceptive services relating to sexually transmitted infections, violence against women and girls, and sexual and reproductive health needs of adolescents are now being given the privacy and attention they deserve. Project Menei, attend is a fashion yamada, Rondoza, Kubanga access my service to Kshibadala. I mean, I could turn this life fashion yamada. But the Tiziga Chaku Fusa Kshibadala. But the Kodi Mangkala Kshibadala. Kuna kwenye dabanchi. Kodi nanka. The Mangkala. I mean, I'm a grand chief of Gambi Kshibadala. Kuno. Kuma so gafuso ring the budget the anchi. Kavena the budget the damas ingadi zomwe zima grand chief of Kuno Kshibadala. Kuma so school kadiri turn this life fashion yamada. Kukala ndi pamvu. Yoku mana ndi ma adindo. Osiana siana kumuzi. Kuma kwambili kuhethe ahagi, nduga afusa mene zintu zikuenda la bashibadala. Kodi, kodi zintu bashibadala wano zikuenda wanji, kodi ngadi si zikuenda. Inuonga da 
ahake mubanga bochani ndipo ngati waja saa ukati tandiza ifeo timata ukafika so kwa nkulu wa shibata hapa hefe facility hapa shibata hapa Today at Mlomba Health Center young people have a room where they meet to share experiences The health facility serves 340,828 people in its catchment area with about 400 youth accessing it on a daily basis. Toko Katunga is the hospital in charge for Ntoloa Health Center. Yeah, before in the session of youth friend data services, uh, youth were, were not that free to come and access services, especially, especially um, fire planning services and uh, uh, like STI and HIV testing and also ARD. So after this, this in initiative of, of youth friendly health services, youth are now open to come and access uh, sexual protective health services because they are assured of their privacy. At first they were just mixed with their dads. Uh, the way you do with the services. Now we have uh, a special room which is being used as a, uh, a, uh, a special room for youth friend youth to access their services. So when they come here, they are directed to that uh, to that room before seeing the doctor or before seeing any provider of youth friend services. Through their meetings, the champions are able to track an availability of services, healthcare workers and services, and are able to identify difficulties in communicating with health workers, among others. Alex Henley Chimwala, another beneficiary of the project, says the project has equipped them with skills on how to demand information on things that affect them. <laughs> Munjira ya health friend re yomo iri office ya bade uti wachi nyamata atwa katwa nkha wazake ngati machi sazo ngati wadwala ma STIs akhoza kwa mo office major ndi katwa nkha wayake mo panda mo panda kuchitwa chinyengo kapena kuludwa chisisi china chiri chose endi azathu amena ja mo office major ana pusira uno bwino mena ngati kumuthandizira munthu izi sikuti pe wesa unena kuti mwina kutheka amena kugawa au gawa mankhwala nchipata moja ndi achibale athu komano izo zimatengera kuti tikakawa mo office me tikatulwa nkha wa athu jakapena vuto watu uli japo panda wina wake oti phinja nalo limited access to contraceptives in the area has also been blamed for increased cases of unplanned pregnancies in the area most girls quit school to get married and get pregnant before their bodies are ready for childbearing. In whatever school that you may go, you may, you may find that maybe the enrollment, for example, we have 10 girls, a girl child, who have been enrolled into a particular school. By the end of the term, you will see that maybe five of them, which is half, they have what? They have dropped out of school, which is almost 50%. And in matching, it is so alarming. Very, very alarming. So those are one of the factors that are fueling issues of what? A, 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 a dropout and also a child what? Pregnancies and a, a, a child marriages. Through the project, a total of 27 child marriages have been registered in the target area with eight girls returning to school. Additionally, six cases have been referred to Police Victim Support Unit for redress due to their nature. Heji Ukalinde is the program's officer for the non-governmental organization. We, we sometimes nullify the child marriages, but they've been asking us, so we have, we have come back from child marriage, what are you going to give us so that it might, we might sustain? Uh, so those are some of the challenges that we have been experiencing on the ground. To ably engage with duty bearers and influence implementation of youth-friendly related programs, 
27 champions have been included in area development committees, village development committees, hospital advisory committees, and district council committees. If I have a mother, I have been involved in the committee. Back at the hospital, Kalinde says inclusion of the youth in various development committees has improved the status quo in terms of contraceptive availability at the hospital. Before the, this project, there was no any young person who was involved in law governance structures. And for this project, young people, especially girls, they are not able to access services at, at, uh, at health facility. Because uh, they, they, they thought they, they might be called as, as sex worker whenever they go to access services at, at, at facility level. So this is some of the tremendous changes on the ground within this, this project. Apart from equipping the youth with the necessary skills, Youth Response for Social Change also engaged local leaders on their role to ensure young people take up their rightful positions in local governance structures. Members of parliament, religious leaders, and traditional leaders interfaced the youth during the engagement to respond to issues and needs of the youth. <laughs> Why RSC Youth Champion Ibrahim Mundoka says fruits of the project are manifesting through young people's inclusion in the structures. He says through inclusion, the youth can now access their own needs and participate in the development taking place in their areas. Access to justice and a deposition of a school card. School card is the only thing that is the only village committees. The ADC and the VDC are the only thing that is 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 the only thing Tina Idanisa DHO, I do I own councillors, you must mind peace, Dima Fum. Menetina Gambirana, 
zo kuza mene ya sankila makumiti ya kumuza mene wa. Titapeza kazoti sana sanke buino, antu wajetinaka mirana nao, ndipo zintu zinasinta. Pano kudela watu, kuna sankidwa, mene makumiti muli aji nyamata. Kwa yamba kumunali aji nyamata ochepa, gadi kudela watu kulima ee mizi 46, aji nyamata analipo 6 oka mu ma village committee ya meteo amene kuma ata tita ziwisa anthu amene aja anapanga sezoti village ma village committee na iliose mukale wa chinyamata the youth have also been equipped with skills on how they can engage duty bearers to brainstorm and discuss increased access to justice Youth Response for Social Change is implementing the project component to advance access to justice interventions to deepen young people's understanding of their right to equality and justice. Group Village in Toloa says strengthening young people's capacity on governance improves their relevance in the community. He, however, called for the extension of the project to other areas to benefit many people. Mena matuza kuti ndichaka chimozi. Tinaona bi kuti anzatu ambiri sitina teko wafikira malinga ndi maendelu. Kuka na kala kwa teka. Hata titandiza so kuti bungu hilipitire mozaka kapena ziwiri. Chifuwa mosa na mizana kwa tukuno kuna li vuto. Ana. Ajinya matao ama kwa tiana ana. Sikulo ama sira panjira. Kwa bungu hilita fika nkulu vya timabanje ana otakati kutesa. Chika na kaha jote kakuti bungu elimina lita piti lita chifuwa tinali magrupa awira ntoko manda ntoloa. Kuta afikila so magrupa zinzatu. Mina zikana kitabu ino mulomba, mina ikana sintika chifuwa mulomba. Dimene ina onyenekera nyasi kwa mbili. Kuti nyasi yo ite, mkanati kwa mila beso kuti tipiti lize so. But what prompted Tilitonse Foundation to fund such a project? Robert White Chief Executive Officer for the organization explains the rationale behind the decision. We saw its relevance to our governance focus because we have got a, um, a result area for gender and social inclusion. So if you look at the issues of reproductive health, uh, sexual reproductive health uh, and rights, they normally affect the youth, they also uh, affect women. So they direct a flow under our result area on gender and social inclusion. And this is where we say this is a project uh, which was well designed, uh, it made sense when you reviewed it, but at the same time it's also contributing towards one of our result areas. And that's the reason why we funded this project. The youth have been empowered with the skills on how they can demand their right to quality and accessible sexual reproductive health services. The youth are now able to access reproductive health uh, materials in the health facilities in Machinga district. And uh, one would wonder to say, what's the link between the Tonse and the reproductive health? We provide grants on governance-related projects. So what this, uh, the project in Machinga is doing is to engage the district health office and also district, uh, the various health facilities in the district to make sure that they make available these uh, reproductive health materials for the youth. But at the same time, they're also working with the uh, structures like uh, village development committees uh, and other uh, village level structures to make sure that they allow or they give space to the youth to take part in um, discussions, in making decisions and in management of various projects at village and at uh, area development level. Today, youth are able to take part in various committees and get their voices heard. In addition, abused adolescent girls and young women can now access justice thanks to the Governance for Health Investment project. It remains imperative for the youth to sustain the skills even after the project winds up in February 2020.